As pool players, we spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours playing with our cues. This develops a keen sense of even slight variations in cue weight. And it would seem when it comes to striking balls, the differences between your cue and others should be even more obvious. We put our cast to the challenge with a little game of guess your cue. With all player sticks lined up and randomized, we challenge them to blindly guess their cue stick out of the bunch. Oh, and we also toss in a standard house cue just for fun. All sticks were tossed in a scale and recorded. Here are the player's sticks measured from lightest to heaviest to use for reference, so you can tell how their stick sits amongst the bunch and how close they guessed. Jordan has the lightest cue coming in at an extremely low 17 and a quarter ounce, and Matt on the other end of the spectrum having the heaviest with a 20.88. So between the entire range of cues, there's a 3.6 ounce variance. This is presumably a noticeable contrast in weight. First, we started with a simple weight test. Carefully handed each cue, they were allowed to only hold the cue by the grip hand and only hold it by the universal masking wrap we applied to every cue. Julieta started things off and immediately we had our first incorrect guess. Surprisingly, Julieta selected the house cue, a stick that is over two ounces heavier than her own. DJ guessed James' cue, which is also a two ounce difference. Jordan also guessed the house cue, which is well over a two ounce difference from his own. What's going on here? We all thought going into this, this is gonna be an easy feat. Rob selected DJ's as his own, but at least we're getting closer with less than an ounce difference between their two cues. James also picked the ever so popular house cue with it being within an ounce of his own. And Matt defied the trend and was able to sniff out his own cue and guess successfully. The cast was one for six, not great. So apparently it is much harder to guess your own cue weight in a blind cue comparison. We were all quite surprised by the results, but surely when it comes to the cue hit comparison, we'd have better results, right? Here goes nothing. The hit test had each player already down at the table, carefully handed each cue so they couldn't feel any obvious differences. A cue ball was lined up for them and they struck the cue ball down the table to fill the hit of each cue. Right out of the gate, Julieta redeems herself and gets the cast back on track by nailing it and guessing her own cue. DJ apparently has a love affair with James Q, not only incorrectly picking it for the weight challenge, but also for the hit. It might be time for a new Q, DJ. Jordan was much closer this time around, but just barely missing by picking Julieta's Q, which is extremely close in weight and hit feel. Rob missed the mark by selecting Jordan's Q with over a two ounce difference. James was able to use his force powers and determine his own Q from the rest of the pack. And Matt was just off by selecting James Q, less than a half ounce difference. So the squad upped their game just slightly with a two out of six score in the hit challenge. Overall, what do these results show? Everyone felt okay about the weight challenge and most felt the hit challenge would be pretty obvious. But in the end, they were surprised at how hard it was. It's very interesting because as players, we have all hit a buddy's cue here and there. And it can often feel extremely strange and seemingly obvious in the differences from our own stick. There's clearly a lot more to the so-called feel of a stick, which goes well beyond the weight and the feel of the hit. There is the way the entire configuration of the stick moves the cue ball around the table with power, spin, and deflection, which gives us our sense of touch with a cue. Maybe we'll revisit this challenge down the road and see if the cast guesses change or stay the same. Do you think you'd be able to pick your cue out of a lineup of seven? Give this a shot and let us know how it goes.